Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project, Magnetic Reversal News in Shinrin Yoku, bringing you a Iceland volcanic update Monday, June 27th, around 9 p.m. Mountain Time 2022. Ostia Volcano is the only volcano in Iceland that is at alert level 2 yellow, and that alert level was raised last year in the fall. September, October, because of rapid uplift at the volcano. There hasn't been a major eruption at Austria since 1875, and we'll get to the history of that unique eruption by the end of the video. Here you can see where Austria volcano is and some of that uptick in activity we're talking about. And here again is the volcanic plot and earthquakes versus depth. And again, you can see just in the last 24 hours, a few dozen earthquakes between around eight kilometers, right at that depth of where magma would be. So some unique and interesting stuff going on over at Ostra Volcano. Now the eruptive history, the last eruption was in 1961 at VEI-2, north of the lake. Uh, this cluster is in a similar area. It's more east, northeast of the lake. But the big eruption was back in 1875, a confirmed VEI-5, and some unique things happened in this historical eruption. It was an infamous volcanic eruption in the remote highlands of Iceland that helped spark a substantial wave of immigration from Iceland to North America in 1875, particularly those people from the East Fjords. In fact, this volcano was often referred to as the Vestur Islandinga volcano. Its explosive eruption started on the 29th of March nearly 155 years ago, or 147 years ago. Ash rained from the sky, the main explosion lasting six hours. It poisoned the land, killing livestock, causing widespread starvation and poverty for farmers in the north and the east of Iceland. Ash from this eruption also managed to blow all the way to Norway, Sweden, Germany, and Poland. Ostia is still an active volcano today. Its last eruption was in 1961. The question remains, when will it erupt again? Experts back in 2010 claimed it may be getting close, and we've been reporting on that since we started the channel. Now there's lots of information on the 1875 eruption, so take a look and take advantage of all the links below to learn the geology, the pyroclastic deposits, and other unique facts of the Ostia volcano eruption. And where did all the water come from? This was a very unique eruption. Eyewitness records observed a distinct change from wet to dry explosive activity that occurred in March of 1875 at the Ostia volcano. This rhyodacite eruption of the Ostia volcano is the third largest silicic explosive event since settlement in Iceland. It was part of a larger volcanic tectonic episode that took place in the North Volcanic Zone from 1874 to 1876. This eruption is unique in that it features abrupt and gradual shifts between wet and dry explosive activity. It consisted of an in initial and abrupt shift from dry subplinian to wet phreatoplinian activity followed by a gradual shift from wet phreatoplinian with pyroclastic density currents to a dry plinian phase. However, the source of water that caused this shift in eruptive style is not clear. And a possible source could be groundwater stored in the Ostia caldera, which is bound by steep-sided hyaloclastic mountains and filled by Holocene and historical fractured lavas. Now, this lake was formed during that 1875 event, and it is massive. Now, that large lake down there is called Oskjuvatn. It's deeper than the main caldera. It was formed during the 1875 eruption. It measures 3.5 kilometers across. The surface is 50 meters below the caldera floor, and the lake is 220 meters deep. The small Ashtavidi crater is a scenic hole filled with a small lake. Now this lake is suitable for swimming because it's geothermally heated. 
and Ashtuvatan tends to be frozen and should be more attractive to polar bears than the tourists for the swimming lessons. But this water is possibly cleaner. A swim in the Vidi Crater is certainly memorable. The stench of sulfur will cling to you for days. Stay away from the boiling vent and from falling rocks. And be aware that the slippery path is easier down than back up. Especially when the volcano, well, may be about to erupt. <laughs> and that, that is certainly a boom to knowledge. Thanks for tuning in. Share this video with like-minded people. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. And be safe. We love you.